day four of the raw vegan fast. Oh, yeah. I just made a smoothie. It's blueberries, one cup of blueberries, a tablespoon of peanut butter, fourth cup of oats, half, no, it was a full banana, but I added additional. And then um, almond milk. It tastes good. I do like it. Don't judge. Time to clean up. I'm going to make some te some detox water as well. And then I'm about to make some more overnight oats as well as some salads like I did. So the salads will have strawberries, cucumbers, and blueberries. And then the overnight oats will have blueberries, bananas, almond milk, and oats. So it's time to prep more things as I get ready to go into the weekend um, and continue on this journey. Whenever I'm losing motivation, I hear this voice. You're not dieting for fucking taste, motherfucker. You dieted for the results that diet. I'm going to attribute this to hormones because I'm down six pounds so far and it's the beginning of day four. Um, but I want a sandwich so damn bad. I ain't going to do it. But I do. I, I want a sandwich. I cheated yesterday with some popcorn. So I ain't going gonna, gonna to mess up. I prepped some salads. And I had some cucumbers with everything but the bagel. Uh, seasoned hummus. And, um, you know, I'm going strong. I'm enjoying what I'm eating. Not, of it is, not all of it is as filling as I want it to be. Cause I feel like it's missing that protein, like the, the chicken and the salmon and stuff like that. And I've been, I've been thinking about some damn lamb chop for the longest, either some sea bass and risotto or some damn lamb chops, but a couple more days left. I got this. I so badly want a sandwich and some wings so i have not left the house at all today it's a little bit after 5 p.m besides going for a walk i refuse to leave the house because i'm weak so i'm eating celery and hummus i really want a sandwich i feel like i'm tired of eating cold foods i'm sick of me I'm really sick of me, y'all. I'm sick of me because every time I pass gas, I'm like, you stink bastard. I'm talking to myself so mean. This raw, vegan lifestyle is not for the weak-hearted. Baby, y'all must work remote, okay? You must work from the comfort of your home. Because you cannot be no raw, vegan, having to go to work. I, how much, I've been to the bathroom so much today, it's ridiculous. Am I mad? I done lost six pounds. At least that's what the scales say. And it's only day four. I ain't mad at that. I'm trying to keep going. But, oh, every time I get gas, I'm like, oh, girl, you stink. <laughs> oh, now my face do feel like it's getting a little less round. And um, I'm trying to stay positive. And I'm going to finish out my next three days. But, baby, I've been wanting some iced coffee because I just need a, a different taste in my mouth. That's a diuretic. You no, baby. No. No. No coffee. I had coffee the other day and, and I was okay, but by day four. Oh, oh. My stomach talking. It's talking. So it took them first three days to be like, okay, we're gonna be cool with her. We're gonna let this little situation ride out. But by day four, it's knocking, okay? It's knocking. It's real. Prepare yourself. All right. It's nine o'clock. So day four is good. Um, I am having some Premier Protein with coffee. <laughs> because it's way more Premier Protein than coffee in my cup. Um, just so that I can make sure I'm like trying to get my protein in. I've had some stuff with chickpeas during the week. And I've had nuts and... Um, but I'm used to getting, you know, protein from my meat and just even like veggie protein type meals. So I did go ahead and have a premier protein and added some coffee to it. Um, 
I'm feeling good. I hope these cravings for things that I don't need subside really soon. But I do feel like this is going to mean that my taste buds are going to change and alter so things can be too sweet or too salty again. Um, as I get ready to, you know, go towards the end of this seven day uh, raw vegan diet, I'm trying to understand how I want to in incorporate foods in my diet again. So I think after the seven days, I'll initiate adding vegetarian meats again. And so I'll go more on the vegetarian side, maybe veganish, just for a little while so I can reintroduce certain things to my diet. And then after that, I'll probably introduce fish again because I love smoked salmon. Um, and I like the tuna packets. Uh, this is also still going to make sure I remain eating in appropriate portion sizes and trying to stick to my containers as opposed to going back to full plates as well as drive throughs and stuff like that. Like eliminating the opportunity to go to drive throughs and to eat out is really going to put me back in a better mind frame that I initially had post-surgery. So the plan is after this raw vegan situation, then going like vegan vegetarian, probably more towards the vegetarian because I feel like they're not as strict with things as vegans. But the fact that I'm not having like carbs like that, I like that. And so it's going again back to what I learned after surgery and so then I'll reintroduce some fishes, fish, some fish meals and items like that. And then I'll reintroduce chicken and then pork and beef will be the last things I re reintroduce to my body. I have been wanting some lamb chops, but I know I'm not going to introduce that no time soon. And I'm likely not to reintroduce fried stuff for a while either. So... Having the time to think about how I normally have been eating is being very, very helpful and making me more conscious of my decisions. I hope my skin begins to clear up, but I do want my face to continue to drop some pounds and, you know, not be as round and full. Um, but I also know that I need to intensify my workouts. So it's nice to start seeing the numbers on the scale go back down. I'm hoping that by these seven days, I end up back at like... 178 177 something like that because i'm down six pounds so i'm at 182 that's why i'm not gonna quit one i started this challenge and i'm gonna finish it because i bought all them groceries but two i'm still in the 180s and that's highly unacceptable for me but i'm really trying to get back to the life changes that i had previously made before my life started this whole whirlwind of changes and alterations um but yeah, it's just, I've really been in deep thought of my choices and how can I get back on track? How can I reach my goals? And it is time to intensify my workout. So even though I'm walking and I do some jogging, um, I really have to get a gym membership. I'm trying to hold off until I find my, you know, my forever place of where I'm going to get ready to land. It probably going to be the forever home, but still, I'm trying to hold off. But it is time for me to get into a gym. I want a trainer. I don't, you know, I can watch different YouTube videos and different Instagram clips all day long. But I don't really take that information into the gym. Like, I'm not actively watching things on my phone. So, if I don't write down those workout plans and then just look at my notes, um, then it's not happening. I just kind of do the same thing over and over again. And always having notes is not helpful because I need to remember what the workout looked like. But I just feel weird about watching stuff on my phone when I'm trying to work out. So I desire to have a personal trainer. And so with that desire, it's like, let me get situated somewhere. And I want to find a trainer that I could see four to five times a week. I have been considering a tummy tuck. Somebody suggested lipo. But I have keloid skin. And so I don't really want to have another surgery because that likely is going to be a really ugly scar. And then the healing process from surgery is it's just no fun. So I want to find a trainer that's going to really help me get to that 165 or maybe a little smaller, but be toned and fit and curvy with my natural curves. So I will say this, this raw vegan diet is giving me a lot of time to understand my fitness goals, my health goals. 
I do still want to have kids. And I'm 35, so I'm a geriatric pregnancy off the bat. And so even, you know, as I'm paying attention to what I'm eating and my moderation and sizes and things, all of this just really contributes to, like, the real lifestyle goals that I have. And, like, how can I truly execute things and stick to it? So, day four in the books. I'm very happy with my progress. I did not leave the house. And so I, I decreased the level of temptation.